This conference will now be recorded. Today, let us understand about advanced warehouse management. Advanced warehouse management. Okay. This advanced warehouse management. What is this advanced warehouse management means? What will be created? What will be created? And what should be completed? That is warehouse management. So, what is this work? What is this work? Uh, uh, only only is, two things. Satya, only two things are in advanced warehouse management: work created and work completed. Or apart from this, we yes, have multiple. There are so many things, but the major content, the major concept. Suppose if it is a trade and loss kicks, what is the major purchasing material and selling material? Okay. Right? Okay. Yeah, what is the okay. finance means? What is the profit? Hmm. Finance yeah. means ultimately the profit, the trial balance and profit. In the same manner, advanced warehouse management means the work. Hmm. Oh. The main content, the main content is work. So work will be created and work will be completed. What is this work means? Pick the material from one location, put the material in another location. Pick the material from one location and put the material in another location. Is the work. The main focus. Okay. Main focus is pick the material from one location and put the material in another location. How they will put it? Go to here. <laughs> Using this. If we don't have this much a bigger one, they will have at least a small one. Like this. Got it? It may be a bigger one, it may be a smaller one. It is with hands, we are moving. So, because if it is a washing machines manufacturing company, that washing machines you cannot carry with your hands. Agree? Washing machines you cannot carry with your hands. It's a very big one. If it is moving with uh, hands with the help of two people three people it will be damaged agree yes, sir. yes so so material movement is material movement is very easily you can move it using this forklift okay so this will be done by the delivery team and they will use mobile device. Using mobile device, they will complete the work. Because these people, majority times, they may not be educated person. They are not strong in operating system. They will given they will be given mobile device. How it will be mobile device means like these mobiles. Using this mobile, they will scan it and they will finish the work. That is the main focus for advanced warehouse management. Is it clear? What is the main content? Any questions, any clarifications? Okay. So, advanced warehouse management or warehouse management means what should be created, what should be created and what should be completed. So what is what means picking the material from one location, put the material in another location is what. 
So using mobile device will finish it. Using mobile device will finish the task. So let me show in the system how it works. Have any questions? We'll discuss. <coughs> As I told you, this is a separate module. Okay. It is there, there is a depth functionality, warehouse management, transportation management, landed cost. So you are learning this one, the high level. Bit. So let me show you how it works. I'm creating a purchase order. No, how it works, let me show you. Procurement and sourcing. Collapse all. Purchase orders, all purchase orders. So I'm clicking on new, select the vendor, select the vendor, any vendor is fine. Select the warehouse, warehouse is 24. Earlier we are used to do with 11, 12, 13 something, but now warehouse 24. So why these 24 means? 24 warehouse is warehouse enabled warehouse. So I will show you under item A through 1. So if you go to item master, please products. So here A001, A001 is this is an item. Item is linked with advanced warehouse management enabled storage dimension group. The storage dimension group is where use warehouse management process enabled storage dimension group. That is item. And warehouse is 24. <coughs> Warehouse, you can open from inventory management, inventory breakdown, warehouses, or you can go to warehouse management process, warehouse management module, <coughs> set up warehouses, warehouses. Either one is fine. So, 11 warehouse, <coughs> if you verify, this is not enabled, but 24 warehouse, it is enabled. Use warehouse management processes, this process enabled. Use warehouse management process enabled. So that is the reason I have used A301 and warehouse 24. <coughs> Suppose 20 quantity we are purchasing. Next, I'm doing confirmation or confirm. Purchase order confirmation is mandatory. You know that one already. So we did confirmation. After this, we are going to warehouse tab. Warehouse tab, inbound load planning workbench or load planning workbench. Either one you can click. So, inbound load planning workbench. <coughs> so, if you select, click on supply and demand to new load. This is the load template. Load template means this one. 
how much load this can be carried <coughs> two washing machines four more washing machines 20 laptops whatever it is so that is load so here load template this load template will have how much weight how much height width width depth and uh, volume and weight how much it can be carried 20 inches container 40 inches container something it was given sample data so how much width height depth volume or weight can be carried that is defined in the load template <coughs> we are selecting now all 20 i can carry from one place to another place so i can create one load will be created the load means what is this load means how many trips you can move material from one place to another place <coughs> suppose this kind of boxes then i can carry only two i cannot carry 20 if there is this kind of boxes it is around like 3 plus 3 plus 3 9 plus 9 18 can be carried even 27 can be carried okay so based on this one this is 27 27 pieces can be carried so <coughs> based on that one how many trips you will carry you can carry from one one place to another place that is load so load will be created purchase order created and purchase order confirm you know this one next load will be created load means how many trips you are moving the material from one place to another place here it is 27 can be moved here it may be around 60 or 50 there is a big small small pieces they made it one big box so here I have created only one load means all 20 pieces I can move material that is load once load is created we need to create work and we need to finish the work so work creation and completion will be using mobile device using this uh, mobile device we are going to finish it so for that actually we need to go we need to use mobile but we don't have mobile device now so this is mobile device emulator virtual mobile i'm creating from the system action colon whs work execute if you click here four and one this is 24 user id and password one if you click on login this is mobile device so just like mobile we have created in the in this mobile there will be options so rather than that one we are using a temporary mobile so this is configurable all these things are configurable we can configure now i need to click on inbound so purchase receive now you can copy the load you can copy the load and you can paste here click ok <coughs> now item a triple zero one click ok now 20 quantity click ok Sorry, by mistake, I have entered 29. Now, actually, it is message is coming like work completed, but work, but work is created now. So, if you verify, close this one, and if you refresh <coughs> here in this one, you will find work and load 
so load you have already know about this one load is created and now work is also created if you look at this one the work <coughs> pick the material from one location and put the material in another location so pick at a receive location pick at receive location means so like this this is receiving location receiving location or in open place here sometimes it may be unloaded at the uh, warehouse like here okay the truck will come and it will it will be unloaded here and we will take from this one from here we will put inside here that is pick the material at the receiving location recv location and put at fl0 pick the material at the recv and put the material at fl0 that is set up we can configure all those things so now purchase put away so usually purchase put away we need to scan the license plate we need to scan the license plate but we don't have that scanner the functionality scanner so this is the license plate we need to scan it but i don't have that scanner physically alternatively as a workaround i'm i'm scanning work i mean to say i'm taking the work id i'm taking the work id so i'm entering this work id click okay <coughs> So pick the material from RECV. Pick the material from RECV. Click OK. If you verify, the picking is completed. This is in process. This is in process. Picking is completed. That is closed. And put is in process. Means the forklift it is moving. Now, once it is completed, we will click on done. And now put it FL001. If you click OK, now work is completed. The work is completed. So, load means the trips. How many trips I want to move the material? The load is created, and then against this load, what is created? What is created? Okay. So earlier, this all these things are registration process. Registration process earlier it is single step. Now we are doing multiple steps. Then product issued. So product receipt means here we can do product receipt as usual from here or we can go to the load. So from here you can open the load or you can scroll down, it will show you loads. Suppose if you create four loads, five quantity each, one time I can move the material five times, so four times, then we can have multiple loads that's what it is here so load can be opened from here or loads can be opened from here so i'm opening from here load okay now product receipt you can do product receipt before that confirm shipment is optional but as a best practice you can do confirm shipment next i can do product receipt while doing product receipt it will capture automatically the load number whatever it is there it is coming if you want you can change the 
vendor GRN number, whatever it is there, like GRN number or product is number. If you want, you can modify. Otherwise, you can proceed and enter the document. Click OK. So product city is updated. Now you can do invoice as usual. <clears throat> Update mass status passed. And post so earlier this registration we did it between purchase order confirmation and product receipt we are doing registration that registration is single step now that single step is little bit enlarged and little bit of detailed steps loads will be created what will be created and what will be completed so if you do this means it is equal to registration next one as to any conclusions this is advanced warehouse management advanced warehouse management Purchase order creation confirm. Instead of registration, we are creating loads. And against load, we are creating work and work completing. And then product receipt. So to complete all these things, there are so many setups. You need to understand location directive is one more most important. The setups are. Air post management location directives. This is very, very important. Next, work template. <coughs> this is also important. Load template. Just now I have shown you load template. So, to complete this one, location directive. Work template, load template. Next, mobile device menu items. Here, so we go to mobile device menu items. You are going to create the mobile device menu items. Here, purchase receive. Mobile devices configurations. Here we can use. So the next one is mobile device. Worker. This is also important. So there are some more setups we need to understand, we need to configure to do these things. Okay. Is it clear this purchase order process? Any questions? Any clarifications? Okay. High level picture you are learning in this uh, TNL session, but the warehouse management, if you if you join for warehouse management uh, as a separate course, I told you it is eight to nine session. Eight to nine session. Eight a.m. to nine a.m. IST. In that, it will be detailed uh, discussion will be had. Now, same procedure. I will show you sales order. So, if it is a sales order, if it is a sales order process. Then we need to have 
wave template also another setup wave template also is available you the wave template where is available ways wave templates it is also another setup for sales process along with all these setups along with these all setups wave template also is required this wave template for purchase order it is not required but for sales order process wave template also required. This is for sales order process. And with all these things, we need sales order process. We have template also. So let me show you now sales order process. Let me show you sales order process. Normal procedure is sales order creation. Sales order confirmation is not mandatory. Not mandatory. It is optional. Next, generate picking list. Then picking list registration. Whenever we are creating a sales order process, sales and marketing module, collapse all, sales orders, all sales orders. So whenever you are doing, we are doing like generate picking list. Picking list registration is good. So let me create new new sales order. So whenever you are selecting a sales order, whenever you are selecting a customer, customer should have address. So that is the reason I am selecting U001. Okay, customer should have address. It will validate the warehouse management process or transportation management process, it will validate warehouse is, sorry, address is there, it is must. Because, because you are delivering the material to the customer, means customer address is mandatory. For, to where we need to deliver the material. Okay, and as usual, warehouse 24, I'm taking, because warehouse 24 is warehouse management process enabled way. So click OK and I am selecting A3001. A3001. The reason behind A3001 is warehouse enabled storage dimensional group we are using. Okay, suppose 520 and at the rate of suppose $50 we are posting. Okay, sales order creation. Next, confirm sales order is there. It is not mandatory, but during confirmation, it will validate credit limit. Credit limit, how much amount we can give credit to the customer that will validate confirm sales order or confirm now. No, it is not mandatory. Next one is reservation is mandatory. Reservation is mandatory. Okay, so inventory it is mandatory. Once it is done, next actually we can do generate picking list and then picking list registration, then packing slip. So instead of generate picking list, instead of generate picking list. We are clicking on please to warehouse. And click on release to warehouse in the warehouse tab. Release to warehouse. If you click on release to warehouse, what happens? Shipment will be created. Shipment will be created. Next. Wave will be created and wave will be processed and work will be created. Shipment will be created, wave will be created and processed against the shipment 
and then work will be created. This all happened if you click on release to warehouse. Click on release to warehouse button, automatically it will happen. So look at this one, release to warehouse. If we expand here, shipment created, shipment created and wave has been created for the shipment and wave has been submitted to run a bad job. This is automatically processed. This entire thing will be happened from the wave template. So in the wave template it is there. The methods, it will be executed, the code. <coughs> Once it is executed, now if I close, refresh the screen here shipment created wave it will not show here wave will be created and processed work will be created all this at a time it was happened so shipment and load will be created inside wave is, will be created and processed What will be created? All these things at a time it will happen by clicking on release to warehouse button. Okay. If you want to understand all these things, you need to understand the important setup wave template. Inside here, there is a methods and there is a processes enabled checkboxes. From this one, it will be executed. It will be executed. Now, as you know, like work is created and work is completed, same work should be completed. Work should be completed. So, once again, mobile device. <coughs> now, it is outbound process. It is outbound process. Sales became. So, as, you, as I told you, like we need to take the license plate and we need to scan actual process, but we don't have mobile device to scan that one. So we are not going to do all those things rather than that one manual task as we are taking one. But in reality, in reality, we need to do scan the license plate. The delivery team, this delivery team, they will scan it using this mobile scanner. They will scan the material, the scan the material, license plate scan. But we don't have that license plate scanner to like mobile and all those things. That is the reason we are taking work. Okay, and click OK. And license plate, which license plate I need to do? So if you go to release product on hand inventory. So, A001 on hand inventory. If you click on display dimensions, location, license plate, click OK. So, the work is Pick the material from floor 001 and put the material at bay door. So I need to pick the material from floor 001. So here floor 001 is there. And here also there, there are floor 001. Now you need to take the license plate. One license plate you can choose. Meaning here there are many stock. Here, 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 stock. Which one you want to pick that scan that license plate? Which one you want to pick this one or this one into scan the license plate? That's what here I'm taking manually license plate. I'm entering license plate. Click OK. 
or case completed now. Work is completed, closed. So once work is completed, work is completed, as I told you, work created and completed. Next, we can go to warehouse shipment details. So look at this one, generate area page, packing slip button is enabled, but it is disabled at this point. If you do shipment, confirm shipment, means the truck was dispatched from here. The truck was moved. Shipment, confirm shipment. If you click on confirm shipment, then packing slip button is enabled. Generate packing slip. So click OK. Now, if you verify this packing slip button, journal will be enabled. You can use from here also. You can use from here also, but usually we'll do from the shipment. From the shipment, packing slip. Here, confirm outbound shipment. <coughs> then, packing slip. Next, invoice to the customer. That is as usual. Go to invoice, generate area page, invoice button. Click OK. Will be Understood any confusions. This is advanced warehouse management process. There are many setups, some setups, important setups I told you. Along with this one, there are many, many more setups are there, uh, like inside. Okay, then this process will be completed. The main focus is work will be created and work, and work will be completed by the delivery team. Understood? Any questions? So let me show you the sales order process once again. Okay, let me show you the sales order process once again. Click on new. So for sales and marketing module, you are already familiar. Sales and marketing module, sales orders, all sales orders. You have to click on new button. Select the customer. So while selecting customer, don't select DE001. You know, like DE001 is intercompany customer. Select other than any customer, but that customer should have address. Customer should have address. That is mandatory. Okay, in normal procedure, like where whatever you have learned, trade and elastic sales order, address is not mandatory. But here, address is mandatory. It is important because like uh, on which address you are dispatching material, system will validate. I am selecting warehouse 24 because warehouse 24 is warehouse process enabled warehouse. Warehouse process enabled warehouse. That is the reason I am selecting 24. Item I am selecting A001. So this A001 item is attached with storage dimensional group. This storage dimensional group is warehouse enabled. Warehouse management process enabled storage dimensional group. 
That is the reason I am selecting that type A triple zero one. Okay. Suppose five quantity dispatch at the rate of fifty dollars. <throat> In normal process, if you want, we can do single step like pick process single step or double step means generate picking list and picking list registration you can use rather than this one what we are doing rather than these steps we are doing reservation and then release to bear house so inventory inventory reservation lot then release to warehouse warehouse tab release to warehouse <coughs> if you click on warehouse release to warehouse what happens there is a wave template this will be executed in the back end so wave 24 warehouse 24 warehouse the process is executed and it will create shipment and load shipment and load Wave will be created and processed, and work will be created. All these processes happen at a time okay. because of some setups here. Automate wave creation, process wave at release warehouse, and automate wave release. Because of these setups and these methods, all these things were executed and it is created automatically. All these things. Now, if you go to the sales order, it will show you the pop up that says shipment created, wave has been created against shipment, and wave has been submitted to run a bad job. Okay. Now, if you refresh the screen, now it, is, it will show you shipment, load, and work, all these things. So we need to go to work. The primary responsibility work should be finished by delivery team members. Work should be finished by delivery team members. So these guys, these forklift operators, they will move the material from one location to another location. Now, if you go to this work, pick the material from floor 001 and put at bed door. Meaning, pick the material from inside warehouse, flow 001, and put at the bed door. Bed door means here, near to this one. Inside here, we are putting it. So that truck will come, and it will attach, and it will be loaded, and will be dispatched to the customer area. This is called bed door. These are called bed doors. So easy to move material from uh, inside warehouse to truck ins inside truck. Okay, so that is better. So now I'm doing completion sales picking. Let me copy the work ready. Click OK. Now location, so license plate, sorry, floor 001, license plate, we need to, so on hand inventory. Now look at this one, I am selecting this license plate. I am selecting this license plate, I am entering. Now if I click, it will give you option target license plate. Earlier it was not asking. Now it is asking target license plate. The reason behind, if it is the material is only five here, then we will take the entire. Suppose here it is there five. In this license plate, only five available. Then along with the license plate, we'll take material. Understood? The material will take entire with wooden plate if it is suppose there are so many 20 30 quantities there 20 quantity you cannot take the wooden plate 
am i right so you will take into this forklift will have one more uh, wooden plate that is target license plate here yeah, you need to enter target license plate means you are taking the material from here and you are putting here so this wooden plate is different and this wooden plate is different understood any confusions because here it is there if it is entire lot, entire lot if you are taking you will take with this one but if it is only uh, suppose there are 20 pieces here if you are want to take only five you cannot take this one so you will have another one to take from here to here that is target license plate understood from here to here so i need to enter manually target license plate click ok so now pick process is completed Pick is completed, closed, and put is in progress. Once it is reached to bed or area, as I told you, the bed or area, once it is reached near to here, then it will be completed. So click OK. Now to verify the work. So work is created. And work is completed by the delivery team. Work is completed by the delivery team members. Next, we need to do packing slip. So, to do packing slip, we can use normal procedure like sales and uh, like sales order. We can use post packing slip. Otherwise, because we are using warehouse management, you can go to shipment shipment details. Here you can do packing slip, but packing slip at this point it is disabled. At this point it is disabled, so you need to do confirm shipment. Confirm shipment. If you do confirm shipment, then load has been confirmed. Means the shipping process is the ship like the truck was shipped. It was dispatched from our area. Then I can do generate area page packing slip generate area packing slip click ok so every time it will give you a warning message you are not taking print out you need to have a printer connection take a print out because this document packing slip document you need to deliver to your customer you need to give this document to your customer shipment and packing slip next invoice generate area page invoice button click ok <coughs> click ok invoice was posted okay so in the warehouse management training i will give you detailed explanation one by one process one by one process i'll give you but here I cannot teach the entire process. It will be a big subject about warehouse management. Any doubts, any clarifications, please? About purchase order process and sales order process. Purchase order process, sales order process using warehouse management process any questions any clarifications required so now i want to tell you one small information here so if you go to storage dimension group <coughs> if you look at this one site warehouse location if it is site warehouse location is enabled this is 
site warehouse location okay if it is this like this this location means location means this one inventory management <coughs> collapse all setup inventory breakdown inventory locations this is the old function inventory location if it is this one site warehouse location and inventory status and license plate then the location is not this one the location meaning not this one the location means here warehouse management so the field is same if you are using only three site warehouse location then location meaning inventory location if you are using all five then location meaning this one and if you want this location we need to create location type location format location profile and then you need to create locations so locations is linked with the location profile location profile this location profile is linked with location format and location type if it is the old one it is look inventory location so this location meaning will be changed from here to here if it is this one then if you are using only site warehouse location then this this location inventory location if you want to create inventory location we need to have inventory ails then we need to create inventory locations so inventory ails means this ail a i s l e s is silent ails ails means this one which is called ails this is one ail the book uh, like best example i will show you this one this is one ail this is one ail this is one ail this is one ail so this is one ail <coughs> understood so the old methodology that is advanced inventory management you need to have site warehouse inventory ail and location that is the old procedure still it is there inventory. at that time pallet also there in ax 12 there is a functionality called pallet it was deprecated by microsoft so if it is advanced warehouse management location meaning this one okay any more questions team i know it is high level picture you are learning now okay so we understood now using warehouse management process we have created a purchase order we have created a sales order tomorrow we will learn sales are like wms today we have learned wms PO, WMS, SO. Tomorrow I will explain you PMS, SO, and landed cost PO. Transportation management using transportation management, SO, sales order process, using landed cost module PO process, I will show you tomorrow. This entire process, as I told you, it is a big uh, functionality. It will take uh, another two to three months time, another three months time. This you can learn eight to, learn, eight to nine if you are interested, you can join. I'm giving you the high level picture. Only. Yeah. 
any more questions let me know otherwise we can wind up the session for today we have another three four minutes but i cannot cover this topic so tomorrow i will show you this uh, advanced warehouse management along with transportation management transportation management with advanced warehouse management and then language cost module how do how to use this transactions with this one i'm winding up the session we connect once again tomorrow morning same time 6 am i see you all bye bye